Hello everyone and welcome back. This tutorial is about configuring the default wrap text settings for images, and why you might need to change them. The tutorial is specifically for those, who need to insert and use a lot of images inside their documents, every day. In Microsoft Word, if you often need to work with images, then you might always be struggling to change the wrap text settings each time you insert a new image before you can place that image at the desired location. For instance, if you need to insert, Let's say 5 images in a document, and place them in a specific position then you must change the wrap text settings first before you can move the images, and you must repeat this for each picture. That is why you might want to have your favorite wrapping style as the default wrap text setting. I have already published a 12 minute long tutorial about wrap text. The link to that video is given in the video description, and you can check that out for more information. In Microsoft PowerPoint. If you insert a picture, then you don't have to apply any wrap text settings before you can move the images, and you can place them anywhere in the slide. Interestingly, in PowerPoint, if you either insert a new picture, a shape, or an icon, then you will not find any wrap text settings under shape format. picture format, or graphics format tabs. That's because, in PowerPoint, you cannot type directly over the slide, and you must use a text box or word art to type the text. Even if you try to insert an image inside a text box then it will remain outside the box and on top of the other objects in the slide. A newly inserted object always remains on top by default in PowerPoint and you can check that with the help of Selection Pane. Just for your information that Microsoft Excel does the same behavior for images and shapes as PowerPoint does. But in Microsoft Word, if you try to insert a picture inside a text box, then it remains inside the text box. If you will select the picture which is inside a text box, and go to picture format, then you can notice that wrap settings are disabled, because now the shape wrap text settings will work instead. That also applies to word tables. Inserting a picture inside a table will remain in the same table cell. That is important because a user might want to insert and use small size images inside different table cells. In Word, if you insert and select a picture, go to the Picture Format tab, and click the Wrap Text drop-down button, then you can notice the default wrap settings are set to inline with text. Even if you move to the More Layout Options window, then you can also notice that in line with text is selected by default. But when you insert shapes inside your documents then interestingly they have the default wrap text settings as in front of text and you can move them anywhere without first changing the wrapping style. In Word 365, you can easily change the default text wrap settings for images by first choosing the desired style from the wrap text drop down menu that you want to configure as default and then again click on the menu and click once on the set as default layout option. But you might not find this option in the earlier versions of Microsoft Word. So, you can go to File, Options, and then click Advanced in the left side pane. Scroll up to the Cut, Copy, and Paste section and here change the settings for Insert, Paste Pictures as to Square. Now every next picture that you will insert inside your Word documents will have the Square as their default wrap text setting, and you can easily move them without configuring anything first. That is all for this tutorial, and I hope you will find this video informative. Let me know by liking, sharing, and commenting.